Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today, we are taking a look at a very tiny tip. Now, this tip is about something that I got as an emailed question and it is face set to face map. So, what does this mean? How would you be able to create face map for easy UV in? And this question was asked by Ishman Pedron and that is why we're doing this video. So, how you can get started with this is very, very simple. So, we're going to go ahead and do a very simple show off by simply adding a subdivision on this cube and we are also going to go through and simply apply this now once you apply it and you jump over to your sculpting room so let's go over to sculpting right now the next thing which we like to do is make some face sets all right so by default you make a couple of face sets so we can just simply run through and make a couple of face set like so and like so up until this time there is no solution for this and that is why we're going to do you know a walk around that so once you make your face set if you press the tab key you will notice that you're still in this mode you cannot select the face set individually and start working with it the only thing which we can do right now is to hide the face set so if you press h on the keyboard you'll be able to hide that particular face set so once you hide your face set and press your tab key right now you have this one selected so if you also tap out and press h on the keyboard out here and press the tab key you'll notice we only still have this one selected so press the tab key press h press the tab key one more time to switch to edit mode and grab this one so we're going to switch to three because what we want is face maps and how we can work with this right now is to go over here where we have our object data and we need to close the vectors group close these other one as well and then initiate the face maps now once we click and get the face maps ready we can now click on the plus sign and hit the word assign now that way we have stored this. So if we also press H on the keyboard, rotate this, tap H right here, press the tab key, switch to this, tap A on the keyboard, we can add another one, click on assign, and we can do this for the other ones. So let's just quickly go ahead and do the same thing for the other ones as well. So with this right here, you'll notice we have our first, second, third, and fourth face maps. Now with this going on, the next thing which you like to do is try and make sure that within your sculpting room, all of your models are visible. Once your model is not visible, within your sculpt room let's say for example you have this tapped out once your model is not visible and you switch to object mode and press the tab key only this is going to be visible so once you're sculpting or once you're done sculpting try and make sure that everything right here is visible switch back to your object mode if you now press your tab key you notice nothing is selected at this point you can select any of the face maps that you've made before and you can click on select that way you grab that and you can deselect click on this hit on select and if you're trying to make uvs you can now make your uvs very easy Easy. so we can now click right here go over to the UV editor you notice we have this going on and now we can click on UV and then simply unwrap that and for those who like to work with tiles or maybe you want to work with UDIMs you can now start distributing these UDIMs and getting the most out of it link to the UDIM video is gonna be in the description just in case you want to see how to work with multi tiles directly in blender and link to you know the sculpting tools and also some other UV videos that we've talked about is also gonna be in the description so you can check it out so for those who are thinking about working with face sets and converting those face sets to face maps there you go and this is it a huge shout out to Ishan Padron for asking this question and in case you have more questions about things like this simply put those in the comment section and of course I'll try as much as possible to get back to you guys so tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until I see you guys again with a tutorial update free Friday tutorial Tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace